What's the crack, people? It's Omar Delta here. Uh, this is the start of the new Let's Play, I guess. The new Dying Light Let's Play. It's gonna be myself and Fablade. Fablade. Damn, I can't even say his name correctly. Fablade. It's gonna be myself and Fablade. I think along the way we're gonna be joined by the likes of Omar Ghosty and a couple of our other friends. Uh, what you literally just gonna try and make a good time out of this entire Let's Play? It's probably gonna be our first BPP Let's Play. Um, for those of you who don't know us, we're just a bunch of guys who just play games, isn't it? So, without further ado. HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Iran. Data on the subject Kadir Suleiman, a local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject, the stolen file. Yep, in 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the virion structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Fall back! Fall back! Unfortunate what happened to me, you know. I'm not gonna lie. I feel kind of bad for him. Wait, I'm alive. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you pinch him. You're scared. I'm not scared. Then pinch him. He More blinked. Cutscenes? He blinked of course I blinked. What, what do you mean? I will punch your head, fam. Do you 
these youths from. They don't have they don't have any respect for the elders. None. No. What did I say? Evil massacre alien zombies from Mars, ghost and you think. Alright, whatever. So yeah guys, welcome to Dying Light. This actually I think it's a decent game. I have played, I'm not gonna lie, let me not even start off with any lies, I have played a little bit of it. So, I had the game for a while, and yeah, I'm just gonna quickly recap before I, before I go in here. I, sat, I had the game for a while, played like the first half, I wanna say. So I kinda know what's going on, but it's been a while since I played, so I might be a little bit rusty, I don't really know what's you going on. for three days like a dead man and scared children? Off to a great start, 31. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The bus will be there. What do you mean? He must be a From Archer. No oh, prick. Alright, well, going upstairs. 31, that's your number. Thank you, Salama. Excuse me? Your number. Salma, sorry, Your I said Salama. I'm crying. I'm Wait. Everything is counted here. One fewer doses of antizen. One more new infected. I, think, I swear there's an ice cream truck outside my house. <laughs> Why? Why is the man roaming these ends? Oh, he stopped directly outside my house. This guy is actually a prick. This guy is actually it. Yep, yeah, alright, fair enough. GG. GG. Whatever. Because of this guy? Quiet. Now he's gonna get a meal Santi scene. Are you are you trying to shit about me, man? I will look you in the eye, fam. Look, look uh, Bet, say no more. Wait, what's her name? Derek. Hey, hey Derek. Room 190. Upstairs. Thanks, G. Oh, I was like oh, there's a guy sleeping there. I was like, <laughs> thought I could hear a zombie. <laughs> That guy's trying so much shit. This is 190. Yep. I'm looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. Thank you, sir. Let me find a modest pad. There's a guy out there. I'm guessing he's the boss. Yeah. Alright. Let's say hello. Hey, I'm looking for the... Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... You wanted uh, to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good. Because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your antison was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know why runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the antison meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? Well, there is only one. I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact what? with one of our guys, thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. I ain't lazy, hey, you little shit. Fair. I'm not. I'm not lazy, I'm just... Hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave. Come back later. And I'm not That's the boss. So Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. Rahim, I'm gonna remember you. I promise I'll remember you. Nah. He's on my shit list. Little prick. I'm not lazy, you little shit. <laughs> I'm gonna close that door after myself because I have good manners. Oh wait, shit. Hold on. It's on this level. 
exit. Nope, can't go in there. Can I go in here? Oh, there's a cough woman behind the door. Hi, right, cool. What's up, better? Where do you think you're going? Thirteenth floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. Thirteen? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? And according to that little shit, Raheem, I guess so. I'm gonna take a safe guess and assume that baby's dead. Just a safe assumption from you know the few clues I have around the place. Green here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity and taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisem ASAP. No! Help! Help! Somebody! What the hell? As a young black man, I have been told never to run down the dark corridor. Ever. I'm gonna go down this one instead. Yeah, let me go down this one instead because yeah, I don't trust that side. I feel like some shit's gonna happen over there. Hold on a second. I see something. Different. Woo! Headshot. <laughs> hey, that was a lovely swipe. I didn't even need to be told twice. I just saw. Freaking swing with R2 and a pew! <laughs> but I love this game. Whatever, man. I cut my arm getting away I from probably him. Probably should have checked in here oh, first. God. You had to kill him, didn't you? Yup. God damn it! That was. That was my brother. I came down to see him and. He's easy. It's all right now. I swung help. his shit off his head, G. Down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went at their mark? Is it... Is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Hey, Mark, I'm not even lying to you. Yeah, your brother took a quick, quick beating. I made it swift. I'm not. I, I made it swift. I made it nice Hold and still. nice and quick. Lena will be here any minute. Goss, you got to find some goss. Oh, and alcohol. Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. Please hurry. I try to stay calm. Okay, I'll be right back. According to Febelade. <laughs> My man said that that does not actually work. We're actually gonna meet him later on, so the first few missions are solo. So that's why I'm just doing this, you know, kind of like a speed run thing. Uh, open you. I'm just doing like a cheeky little speed run thing. I guess is what you'd call it. I wonder what's that in behind all these closed doors. Hi. Um, duct tape. Nah, that was a beautiful swing. That was a phenomenal. Swing. I'm gassing myself. Look, look at this. One shot headshot. What? Don't test me, G. All right, you got some shit in here. Any zombies? No. I heard that though. Wait. Fam. Something's in here. Yeah. Something's in here. 
I'm a guess that that's a zombie, and I feel like he's gonna bust through the door whenever. Shit, I don't want to turn my back on the zombie. Bro, I do not feel safe here. Um, any, anything else I can take? Oh, I hear. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, I went quiet there because I was like, I did not know if that zombie was gonna pop out at me or what. Hold on. I don't hear shit. I see some shit. Over there, I'm not seeing his own. Bring that goes. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. I just wanna, you know. Yeah, there's some more stuff in here to be grabbed. Yeet! Yeet! Ah, uh, we're good. We're good. We're good. I don't wanna get jumped by a freaking zombie, man. That's just, that's, I feel like that's the worst way to go. Imagine you open a freaking door. And some shit just pops out at you, munches your ass off. Pause. There's got, there's got to be like better ways to die than being eaten by your best friend. <laughs> All right, blueprints. Let me see this. Fam, this music is so ominous though, like... I feel like some shit's gonna jump at me and it's gonna go DOOM! DOOM DOOM DOOM! Well, not like that, but you get, you get what I'm trying to say. I feel like it's just gonna... Like... Little sister? Nah. Oh, that's a bite! That ain't no... Okay, cut yourself! He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him? Bitch, I swear to God, alcohol, you pop huh? out at me it's again, I'm a one tap your head too, fam. <sighs> but you're a doctor, Thanks so no I'll bother. Care of him from here. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Fam, I almost came swinging out. Alright, cool. I think that saves on. Alright. Can you clean up the baby shit? Yeah, I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me. I can't tell if that's like blood or some shit. Like I, well, I can tell it's blood, but I can't tell if it's like human remains. This is definitely someone's like intestines. This shit didn't even leave the bone. Damn. Nah, zombies are like, I want to say my top five worst nightmares. Imagine a real life zombie. Leave in the comments below what you're doing in like a real life apocalypse. Because I know what I'm doing. I'm GTFOing from this shitty town. <laughs> That's not a shitty town, but I'm getting the hell out. Alright, taken care of. Piece of cake. <laughs> what else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, never please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Shit. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. 
No explosives, Rahim. G. We need to talk about your sister at some stage. So, uh, so yeah. Fair enough. Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Okay. I'm not wearing jeans. I feel I feel alright. I feel like I look okay. On a mini map. Can I talk to you? Nope. This guy looks hella depressed. Damn. Hold on a second. I can move? No. I low key can't even remember how to play this game. This is why I'm so all over the place. The door below me. That doesn't make sense. Hey. Oh, hi. You're depressed too. Don't know, I'm kind of expecting a bit more excitement in the um, post apocalypse life. Do I get to keep my whole outfit though? I'd like to. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. I want to go over there. I I actually want to go over there. Is that somewhere you can go to? Wait. Sorry. Got a little bit. Uh, <laughs> My man's tired of you, fam. Move on. I would recommend you move before he like he he decks you. Yeah, sorry, sorry, G. I mean, I'm not gonna get out of your face. Oh, he's having a smoke. Thank you for the happiest days of my life. Hey, I don't see you. Where are you? Lost. Well, right, that's this piece of shit. I here. want to jump. All right. Press on hold. I want to grab the ledge. Remember, look. The right stick at the ledge you want to grab at. Alright, cool. Alright. Look, hold. Got it. You want to feel right at home? A crane? On a crane? Yes, I assume. More like. Okay. Something completely irrational about me. Is I have a severe fear of heights in real life. Fam, I'm just shuddering at the thought. Imagine you fell down there though, for real. Like, those guys who free run on like really tall cranes and skyscrapers and all that shit, they have my respect. I can't do it. That could never be me. Oh shit, I held that one. Thank you. Welcome subject. to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, alright? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Come on, you can't be serious. 
Watch this. Raheem! My leg. Idiot! Don't move! I'll get help! <laughs> oh, oh. Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! I look he wish he broke his leg. Here. Christ on a <laughs> crutch. I say it's Christ on a bike, but hey. Yeah. Oh, holy shit! Holy shit! It's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got I some see. typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Thank you for. I don't think this is a good idea in real life, guys. Don't try this in real life. If you're the under, if you're under the age of, I want to say, eighteen, do out of your own discretion. I mean, don't do it. If you're above, yeah. That's on you, bro. If you're above eighteen and you're doing that shit, that's on you. <laughs> Alright. Yeet. Try not to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, okay, 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 you're okay. probably dead. Sprinting, sprinting, sprinting. Which way am I going? That way. Don't slow down, don't slow down! Not bad. Alright. Non stop, 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 non stop. <gasps> Error. Error. Okay, there's a ladder here. Let me just eat myself up here. Okay. Alright. That worked out in our favor. Whoop. Cat grab and muscle up. You won't survive outside for ten minutes if you can't do that. And slide to the right. Good job. Okay, time for the real test. Get back to the crane. Make use of anything and everything while you run. No, to be fair, this whole thing is like really easily laid out for me, so it's actually quite handy. And done. Light work, G. Light work. Yeah, going up in Jordan was tough, that's all I was saying. Well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. Did. Did. What? Who? What is happening to me? Shit. Shit. Talk to me. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, shift this way. Alright, cool. Raheem. Just gonna what just happened to me? Shimmy slowly. I bet you're having your first slowly. Just get back over here. AC, huh? AC, who? <laughs> Excuse me? Fam, I don't know why my leg, my hand, my fingers. God damn, I can't even speak. My thumb is not letting me move straight. Alright, let's go. <sighs> I had a seizure, G. Walk Raheem, one. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Seizures remind you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizin. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> what do you get from a zombie killing the 
is the elevator to the ground floor, so you go down another one. Actual job, and nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. Mm -mm.